Nini everyone, Zabora here. Um, so recently I watched a video um, and this person was very clearly a racist and uh, they were speaking out against white people and talking about Egypt and, and black religions and stuff like that. So um, I have a question. How white is too white? How black is black enough? Because guaranteed, I've got black ancestors. And you, as a black woman living in America, probably have white ancestors. Your black ancestors were taken from their home, made into slaves, and more than likely raped by their white masters. At least a few. Guaranteed a few got raped. Okay? Um, so, how black is black enough? How white is too white? Is it the melanin that contains all the power? Because if that's so, then why is it that albinos in Western Africa are prized as magical beings? A little boy in a documentary I watched, and I'm going to try and find the documentary itself, had his arm chopped off because he was albino, and they believed his flesh to be magical. So, if white people in your ancestors' homelands are sacred, why is it not sacred today for you? That's what your ancestors believed. Um, so yeah, you know, just weird questions like that kind of boggle the mind. You're, I mean, the, the person in the video, she was, she was pretty light-skinned herself. So, uh, not that that really means anything. I had a friend growing up, and he had a white mother and a black father, and this dude was dark, okay? So, um, you know, skin color doesn't really truly mean anything. Now, I am mostly Irish, but I got like a 50-50 shot of being Mexican, too, okay? So, uh, yeah, how white is white enough? How black, or how, how black is black enough? How white is too white? That's it for tonight, guys. Sit up to you.